Again this afternoon with the Uvalde School District. Terror there, turmoil, you know all about it. And now more trouble. The top leader of that school system planning to step down just days after the Board of Education suspended all safety and security duties of that district's police department. And in about two hours, the district is meeting to discuss the new developments. The small school system police operation is no more after added concerns with department operations were uncovered, according to a statement released by Uvalde CISD. One of those concerns, outrage after reports showed a former DPS trooper under investigation for her actions during the school mass shooting was actually hired by Uvalde School District Police. The governor, Greg Abbott, found himself trying to explain the actions of the school district PD. DPS informed that school district uh, that uh, she had actions inconsistent with training and department requirements and action taken says pending investigation. And so that school district had full information about the status of the person they chose to go ahead and hire. Since the mass shooting attack inside Robb Elementary School, 19 children and two adults murdered, parents have continually protested against the delayed confrontation with the gunman inside that school by police and DPS troopers. On Friday, the police department suspension was followed with a retirement notice by the district's superintendent. The board is expected to accept Hal Harrell's exit tonight. He too had been under fire since the attack at Robb Elementary. But it's something called transparency and it's something called accountability. So we are pleased with this, but it's not over yet. That board meeting begins at six o'clock this evening. The school district has emphasized that their schools have DPS troopers providing campus security and that will increase with the shutdown of the school system's police department.